Python on hardware. Okay, the big news. We are counting down to CircuitPython Day. It is August 19th, 2022. We'll have all day events virtual around the world. If you like Python on hardware, this is the event for you. Uh, right now we're doing all the coordination. Um, you know, one day we would like to have an in-person event, but we still know that's a little bit challenging. That's okay. We've been doing virtual ones from the start. So check out the Adafruit blog, circuitpython.org, the newsletter that you can get on adafruitdaily.com. And um, you'll see all the events we have planned. Lots of folks in the community will probably be doing talks and, uh, and more. So that's coming up. It's a Friday. And uh, it's also a holiday for Adafruit. Um, there's no holidays in August. Um, that, that are, so we invented one. So we invented one, and that's, uh, that's CircuitPython Day. So, okay. Um, big news, I guess I would say, is um, more Python on hardware. This one is from the uh, Raspberry Pi Foundation. So, yes. Um, the Pico W, what, what's Python-y about it, Lady Ada? Yes, there's a new Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, this one, which is called the Pico, apparently is the, uh, is the name that people like to call it, because uh, there's the Pi Zero W, and this is similarly named. Move um, over, that's move over. utterly delightful. It is now the Pico. <laughs> so it, it looks just like the Raspberry Pi Pico, the RP2040 based board, except the bottom half, instead of being kind of mostly empty, uh, now has a Wi-Fi module under a tin, which does look a little bit like uh, the module on the Raspberry Pi 4. And that's not a coincidence because it's the same chip. It's the mm. uh, Cypress Infineon uh, CYW43439, which has Bluetooth Classic, Bluetooth Low Energy, and Wi-Fi support. Inside of um, that chip is, in, in, in addition to this radio, um, a dual core ARM Cortex chipset, which can be loaded with firmware. And on the Pico W, what happens is that we load firmware on it that lets it communicate back and forth with the RP2040 to give it wireless capabilities. Um, so the long story about this is, uh, you know, on launch, we, we basically didn't have access to the uh, firmware before launch, um, but we do now, so we can take a look at it. But um, for launch, it comes with MicroPython support. Um, the MicroPython support's really good. It's only Wi-Fi right now, but they're working on BLE and Bluetooth Classic. And um, we are not actively, actively working on adding the um, Circuit Python support for this wireless chip because we're really focusing on the web workflow and we don't want to just, we're kind of like in a, in a good groove right now and we don't want to stop that and work on some hardware. Um, but if there's people who are interested and want to help uh, do the porting, um, we're happy to help folks out with it. Um, it is in the MicroPython core, so it has to be massaged a little bit to move into CircuitPython core, but it's not you know, a, a ground up port. It's more just to make it compatible with um, CircuitPython sockets. We use a thing called socket pool. Um, but it, 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 there's no reason why it wouldn't work in CircuitPython. Um, again, it just somebody needs to help with the port to get it from MicroPython to CircuitPython. Um, and uh, there's also gonna be a header version eventually, but right now there's this castellated version with the module, but it's cool. You now have wireless support. It's inexpensive. Um, you can sign up. We will have some at Adafruit. We did not put any in because we wanted to uh, prioritize getting some Raspberry Pi 4s out, but uh, this week, you know, we might put some in, so sign okay. up. All right, so, um, you know, it's interesting in the world of microcontrollers now and in the world of Raspberry Pi, what's shipping? Python. Yeah. And it seems like that's the way a lot of folks are gonna start their coding journey, but then experts can do quite a bit yeah. too. Yeah, oh, and, circuit, and, micro, and Arduino support, just MicroPython, CircuitPython is, you know, we're thinking about it, but there's no active workflow on it. And um, Arduino is being worked on, I think, actively. So Arduino should okay. have support too. All right. Um, in the newsletter, this was one of our bigger newsletters. Good work. Yeah. And um, RGB hex keyboard powered by CircuitPython. Um, Tom's Hardware um, had their PyCast. And um, if you're familiar with Geek Mom and all of the things that um, she does, check it out. Um, you could see adding a web server to CircuitPython. That's the thing that Scott talked about on the show and tell. Um, we also uh, had the QMK keyboard firmware. Uh, update that MicroPad mm -hmm. is supported. Um, you can check out the uh, latest from, we try to keep track of what's going on with the Python uh, Software Foundation because we're all connected to it and we're also 
um, one of the people who uh, sponsor and donate. Um, you can check out the latest thing there. They added some new board members. Um, list of our shows that's going on. Um, and then what's going on with the latest Circuit Python show. Um, check out uh, Paul's interviews that are usually uh, every couple weeks or so. And then Raspberry Pi, Pico W Projects. Uh, Les over there put together a list of projects that you can check out. So if you're just getting one of these now or you're about to get one of those, you could start to figure out, well, what exactly do you want to put on these things? So folks are already, like, they're using JSON and they're using you know, MicroPython and they're displaying text on things, so they're getting started. Um, the googly eyes that you saw um, from Mark that's in the newsletter and it's just kind of an unending series of projects. I think one of the things that folks could probably do is if you're just getting into this, because there's more people that are getting started with a lot of things, is subscribe to the newsletter and just scroll down really fast and just look at the projects and then figure out what you want to build and then learn the code based on that. Um, so anyways, it just is on ending. Um, so don't forget, we have CircuitPython Day coming up. Subscribe to the newsletter. We deliver this every single week. It's on Adafruit Daily, which is a completely separate site. We do that on purpose, so you don't have to worry about it being tied to your store account, because we don't like it when we shop at a website, and then all of a sudden we get newsletters. So we made a separate site called Adafruit Daily, which has newsletters like this. And that is this week's Python on Hardware.